everybody, it's Becky. I cannot believe and I'm excited to say that it's time to film my What's in My Girls car packs for the drive to Disney. It just really feels not that long ago. Like I made the one for last year and I had a couple people ask to film it, um, what I'm taking this year for the girls. Some of it is literally the exact same things we took last year. They either didn't get played with or they didn't get completed or it's something that the girls really liked and they had asked to bring with them. Um, so there's only a couple things missing. There are not any pencils or erasers, crayons, colored pencils, or anything like that in these yet for either girl. Also, my oldest will be bringing her Nintendo. My youngest will be bringing her Leap Pad, but those are things that we have not packed yet. Um, and the only other thing that might be missing out of my oldest daughter's bag is some of her little um, like hand games that she plays, like her Chicken Shuffle that I showed last year. We haven't decided yet if she wants to bring that. Um, other than that, this is pretty much everything. So one of the one of the new things that I got this year, and each girl has one. I wish it wasn't quite so large, but it's the Melissa and Doug Sweet Treats sticker pad. And they really like these books where you have all the different stickers and then you can decorate. They've done animal ones. This one just happens to be like cakes and donuts and cakes and cupcakes. And so it's got all kinds of stickers and over 100 stickers it says. So each girl has one of these. My oldest also is bringing her Twisted Critters, which I have talked about several times. It's a klutz book. We love klutz. And so you've got all these pipe cleaners, and you'll need a pair of um, nail scissors to trim them with. But you can make all these different types of animals. I One year, the first year she had this, she made little animals and stuff all the way there. So you can make fruit and bracelets and a dog and a mouse and all kinds of fun animals. So... This is the original pack, and then this is the refill pack that I purchased from Klutz because she likes it so much. This is something she had last year, but she didn't finish it, and it's the Beautiful Doodles book. So it's just got little pictures, and they kind of draw whatever's missing. So a grocery scene and little badges, a wedding cake. She really likes to draw, so she's got this that she didn't really work much on last year. And then for both girls, I'm just trying to make sure that I have enough paper. Just, they love to draw. They will draw nonstop at home. So she's got two art pads to draw on. And then this we had last year, but they didn't finish it. It's the Princess 2000 Stickers Activity Book. So it's got lots of, I don't think she even did hers at all. Oh, well, maybe she did. No, I don't think she really did hers at all, it looks like. Maybe a couple stickers are missing. But for the most part, everything is still there. All kinds of stickers and little scenes to decorate. So she has that. Again from last year is the Learn to Draw cartoon set. Um, it's these little films from the Blitz cartooning lessons that I had. These are actually what I had when I was a kid. And you can make all kinds of funny faces and cartoons. I brought that and some tracing paper that's already cut down to size. I've shown this before. It's the crossword search puzzle, crossword search puzzles that I found at, at Joanne Fabrics. And so you have to answer the questions, and then you have to look for the answers in the word search. So she likes that. Also bringing one of her favorite things, which is the Extreme Dot to Dot book. These have like a thousand dots. And she's done quite a few of these, but she loves these. So you can see she's done some of them. But I'm bringing that. And then this is newer, and I show this in my Oriental Trading Company haul that I did a couple months ago. It's the Color Counts book, so it is... A very intricate coloring book that you have the color by number and then you have the same picture to make without the number so you can do it twice and the first time you use the kind of their guidelines for colors and the second time you can make it whatever colors you like so she brought ones to bring that she also has her sticker book which I am gonna probably have to either purchase another one or maybe make one I know that you they say you can laminate pages and make your own because hers is almost full but I've got her sticker book and then some extra stickers that they haven't seen slip down in the front. This is new. It's the princess sticker face. We've done these books before, but they've had the animal ones. This one's all obviously princesses. So there's like a bunch of princess faces and then you've got your stickers in the front. So there's crowns and lips and eyes and jewelry, and more eyes and little embellishments. So she likes stuff like that. So she's got one of those. This is new this year. It's the National Geographic Cutest Animals Sticker Activity Book. It's got over a thousand stickers. So it's got activities which obviously are too young for her, but it's got all kinds of cute little stickers and animal facts and mazes and different things like that. So I thought she'd think that was fun. And this is something she's had for a while. It's the Intricate Butterflies Coloring Book. So she has that with all these little tiny butterfly designs to color. 
This is something we took last year, but it doesn't look like she did it at all. It's the St Funny Animal Sticker Face book. We have the Sticky Foam Mosaics that I think we took last year, but for whatever reason she didn't do it. A Mad Libs, which some of them have been done, but I'm bringing that. This I found at the Dollar Tree. It's Hot Chocolate with God. It's like a girl's devotional with little stories and quizzes and activities and just all things about being a godly girl. And so I got that for her. And then these, we have the Everything Me Activity Pad. So it's just kind of questions and finished. Uh, they give you a story prompt and then she can write the rest of the story. And then the Draw On Activity Pad that it tells you a scenario and you have to draw the picture. This is my youngest daughter's car pack and she's got some things that are really similar. She has, or the same, she has the same Melissa and Doug Sweet Treats uh, Cupcake Sticker Pad. She has the same 2000 Stickers Princess Book that they didn't finish last year. I've got that. She's got a pad, a new pad of drawing paper, and then I brought this um, Watch Me Draw Cinderella book we've had for a long time, so it tells you step by step how to draw certain things from Cinderella, and then I brought some tracing paper in case she wants to trace. She's getting kind of old for Color Wonder stuff, but I thought for the car it'd be a nice way to keep it clean. And this is just the, dra the drawing pad, which for some reason I had a harder time finding. I've got two of those, and then the coloring book, which um, is all Minnie Mouse. And then her color wonder markers are down here in a little bag. Just in case I could sneak in some education a little bit, she's got a workbook if she wants to work on this and filling in the blank letter and things like that. She has this precious pets book, which I thought I brought last year, but nobody did it. And it's really cute. It's got these little animals and you have to find the matching sticker silhouette, the sticker. You have to find the matching sticker that goes on the silhouette. I thought it was really cute. So I brought that. I also brought the 3D dot to dot jungle book. She's getting really good at dot to dot. And I like how it's 3D so it's got the glasses with it. I don't remember where this came from. It says Green Briar. Isn't that the Dollar Tree I think? So I have that for her. And then I also found this at the Dollar Tree. Lots of dots. This is the animal dot to dot book that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I have that. And then... Not to be a one-trick pony, but she loves these books where you find things. I've got a couple of those in here. I've got this one, which is the Picture Find Activity Book, Looney Tunes. And so it's got all kinds of things to find. I gave her a couple of these different ones in her Easter basket, so there's that one. This one I was going to give her for Easter, but I decided to save it for her car bag for Disney. Because it's all Disney characters, and so she has to find the things. And I like these because, you know, you don't mark in them, so she can use it for a lot longer. This one, I think we brought one year for one of the girls, I can't remember which one, and nobody used it. So I think my youngest daughter will really like it. And it's the Disney Super Look and Find Activity Pad. So this one, you could mark in it if you want to and then check off if you find them. And then this I um, was going to give her for Easter also, but I decided to save it. It's the Who's Hiding in Fairyland. Again, it's a search and find book. It's a little bit easier, but the colors are really pretty and bright, and it tells you there's more of one of each thing to find. So she has her own version of the National Geographic Amazing Pets book. Hers is all like domestic animals, over a thousand stickers, and so there's all kinds of activities and animal facts again, and all kinds of cute little stickers that I thought they would like. And they can either choose to put them in their book, or I don't care if they don't. If they want to put the stickers in their sticker books, that's their sticker sticker album. That's fine. And then this we've had from the Dollar Tree for a while, but she's getting into search words. And I like these because the first letter of each word is in bold. So it helps her a little bit to find the words. And she's still really starting out. She also has the same sticker pad with some extra stickers on the inside. And she has the Silly Pictures Puzzles Highlights book I found at Dollar Tree last summer. So it's like all the find all the things that start with the letter D. And some of them are just silly pictures and you have to circle all the silly pictures. She also has another mosaic that did not get done last year. So she's got that. And then this I found at the Dollar Tree. And it's just a little finger puppet thing. And I know it's kind of goofy, but I thought she might like to put it on her hands when she's um, in the car and kind of talk and do a puppet show or something. So she has that. So again, other than her leap pad and some coloring pencils and pencils and things like that, she is pretty much all set. And then we'll also have some movies that I have not picked out yet. So I'm not really going to know what to show you for that. But I usually rent some movies from the library they've not seen. And then we bring some things from home that they like to watch. 
I try not to let them watch movies the entire way, so usually we'll say, you know, at least wait a couple hours before they start watching a movie. So I think all these things will keep them entertained. I think they'll be excited to see some of the old things that maybe they've forgotten about, and then all the new things that are in there as well. So I hope this was helpful for you guys, gave you an idea of some things to maybe entertain your kids with, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!